You just don't hear me. What we're doing here so, is I want to mock up. I, I don't have time for all that. Listen, when I'm in here, what I'm getting at was when I'm in here, that should be rolling. You're going to do what you're going to do because I've done told you a hundred times. Well, I can cut it. Look. No, no, no. You're going to do what you're going to do. I'm, I'm not. I have a fish. Excuse me. I have bowed out. You're going to do what you're going to do. I'm going to stand out there and not be part of this crime. I'm not going to be an accessory. I'm going to stand out there. I'm going to let you cut it. And if it goes wrong, it's on you. It's not on me. I want no part in that. Get off my hand! Oh my love! Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. Guys, we are super excited that you guys are here because we got a little special action for you. Yes, this is not special a budget fork. action. No, it's not budget at all. And it's a special fork. It's, it's, it's a fork that is, is for a patron build that we're doing. Mm -hmm. and um, Called but, Project Chong. Yes, and, and a lot of you guys have seen the frame hanging up in the background and stuff and we're working on that right now but we thought we would bring you the initial impressions and probably a review on this fork separately we're not going to cover the whole build and we're not going to talk about the whole build but we are going to talk about what's in this box and we didn't want you guys to miss out on the super awesome fork the, our, yes. our patron old big brother kevin h yes. and big sister brandy i don't know if right. they want that on the channel i think that might be just a patron exclusive. no they do okay they sent us this fork right um i i cannot wait my hands are trembling a little bit to break into this thing we're going to do the initial impressions we're going to weigh it we're going to see how much travel this thing comes with we're fixing to talk about it Oh, are you ready? I, 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 I was ready two hours ago. All right. yeah. Are you guys ready for this fork? This is the SR Suntour Evo Aeon 35 27.5 Boost Fork. Now, the thing comes with a, a it's a mouthful. The thing comes with a mud flap. Not a huge fan of mud flaps, but they do have their place. Uh, we got a little uh, manual action, and this here, I believe, has the um, the graph and all that. Yes, we got all the fancy numbers there. Big Brother Kevin H did look at that thing. A bunch of research on this. It was like, man, um, that's going to be the perfect fork for Project Chong. So uh, he's like 140 millimeters of travel is what that frame calls for. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome fork. We'll show you guys some close-ups. Um, now, this is the Evo Aeon, I believe is how you say that. It's uh, 35 um, millimeter stanchions, okay, 140 oh, millimeters of travel. This thing is super. Excuse not yet. Me. Not well, yet. That, that, We're getting there. What it says, then. Okay, I'm talking well, about it. Well, well, man. Damn, let me, talk, yeah, talk, about that we talk about anyway, it. Anyway, this thing right here is super light. This might be a new record breaker in the breathe. weight depart department. Department. It might be cheese. In the weight department. Something I'm not crazy about with the Sun Tour stuff, as far as the boost axles, you can see I'm struggling here. Um, it's a little funky with the Sun Tour. Uh, set up here and it's so funky they even send you um, some uh, instructions and a QR code to actually watch a video on how to properly put this through your rim and on the other side of the dropout it just got this little funky oh, setup here um, yeah we should um, not my favorite design but it's not a huge deal why don't you scan that real quick I'm just curious let me scan it real quick <laughs> little joke do you know how to do that it has a, it has a thing in the menu or what do we call it oh sorry we couldn't find the page it's supposed to be on vimeo the video tutorial it's not on there all right well that was a fail um another thing that uh i like well one of the things i do like about this fork you guys can see the rebound knob here we're going to check out the amount of adjustment it's aluminum on some of the more budget style forks these uh little knobs here are plastic you know and we have got 24 clicks of rebound you want to write that down 24 clicks of rebound on this guy a whole bunch of adjustment uh, so now one thing also that we have and i'm a very big fan of and you guys know if you've been watching wolf tick videos is we have got a compression ring here um so this makes it so much easier to actually set this fork up um, and out in the field you know we do a lot of setups out in the field because we necessarily don't have a full day or a full uh, week of riding just to kind of get things tuned in how they should be so out in the field real quick adjustment i love that it's got the compression ring um, another thing that sun tour does and this is even on some of their budget forks something i appreciate is we actually have an aluminum compression knob here and it's super smooth um, now i don't know if it makes a difference it being aluminum or plastic but
but just the feel. I know these things will score high when we do go to score them as far as the feel is concerned because the compression cap and the air cap there is uh, aluminum. They're both aluminum. All right, now let's go ahead and do a little bit of uh, some measuring on this thing. What do you say? All right, so air pressure on this fork, we've got 90 PSI shipped. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run it all the way down and then we're going to uh, reinflate it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll kind of see what it's got from there. Push down right there. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bottom. So we're going to fill this thing up to 115, you said? Yeah, let's go 115. That way we don't go up to the max. All right. 115. All right, we'll go 115 and let's do the quick little pull apart technique. Okay, 115. Mm -hmm. Do a little tug on that side. Okay, okay it's ahead. been pulled apart. Pulled apart, 115, whatever it's sitting at now. Now, from the compression ring, mm -hmm, all the, of the way down to the dust shield. Yeah, what do we got? It's going to be at 150.9 millimeters. Okay. All right, guys, so that is so well over the 100. 150.9. After we set our sag, you're still going to get close to the rated... Yeah, because that was bottomed out. I mean, yeah, we're going to get a lot of that rated travel. All right, next is going to be the stanchion width. It's supposed to be 35 millimeters, and it is right at 35.1 millimeters. Okay, so we'll call it 35. So perfect. We got a 35.1 action. Perfect. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do before we weigh it, we're going to uh, check out the steer tube length, and that is right at one line under 10 and 3 quarter inches. Whatever that one, one line is. Quarters. Ten and three quarter inches. Wow, what a fork. Okay, you ready to weigh this thing? I'm gonna say this fork uh -huh. is a record. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be guessing nothing. I'm gonna say don't be guessing this fork nothing. is a record breaker. Look at five point zero five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're off by oh. point one zero one. Oh. Alright, so we got 5.04 pounds super light yeah. all right okay guys 5.04 pounds this thing is Five. super light i can't wait to be doing the real-time review and that's gonna be on another episode so make sure you guys turn those notifications on if you're not uh notification turned on okay now this is what we're going to do I am not going to show you guys the bike just yet that this fork is going to be going on. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take off the fork that is on that bike over there. I want you to put in the comments what fork that bike came off of. Let's see how good you guys are. What do you mean what bike the fork came off of? What not, bike the... Not what fork the bike came off of. Guess what bike the fork came off of. Let's see how good you guys are. All right, guys. I just removed the fork. Wolfman is having a cow over there. Not anymore, I'm not. Do you know... I'm over it. What bike this fork come off of? And you're about to show the bike, so in case it's a mystery. In case it's a mystery, we're fixing to find Jesus out. Christ. But don't fast forward, okay? If uh, hey, y'all are Seuss. some, if y'all are some legit Wolf Tick Nation fans, this is the Lutu 34 AM 140 millimeters of travel, right? That we went back and forth on this whole time uh, with the seller. I don't seller. think it was 140. No, it turned out it wasn't 140. But that should tell you enough to uh, give you a little hint as to what bike was that this was on. Alrighty, so uh, let us know in the comments uh, before we get to it. We're about to get to it because we're about to show you guys the install of the Evo over here. So what I want to do is cut this down. We're going to measure it. We're going to cut it. And we're going to do a new cutting style today. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm going to leave. Don't talk to me about that. All right, guys, the new cutting apparatus. Instead of the pipe cutter, well, this is going to be a pipe cutter as well. Berserker. Nick sent us this a while back to uh, cut some steer tubes, get a lot cleaner of a cut on here, as opposed to the pipe cutter, right? The one that goes round and round. Not that that one's bad, but uh, this one here actually clamps down on the bar. We do have this hacksaw, so we're going to enter it there, right? Like cutting the old lady in half, and then we will just get after it. This is always a sketchy portion on Wolf Tick videos. You guys all know that if you've ever cut a steer tube before, I know some people have cut them too short. We've come too short. Uh, it's really one of them jobs that it's hard to just get it right the first time, but we've cut a lot of steer tubes and we think we've done a decent job with experience. So we're going to go ahead and enter this guy, insert it. That'd be an insert. Okay, it looks easy enough. Definitely sounds a lot worse than uh, the pipe cutter. All right. You ready to come in here? Yeah. The cutting is done. Seven and a half inches. Yeah. Seven and a half inches on the money. Can you guys see that? Seven and a half inches. We're good there. Now what we gotta do 
is we are going to uh, set this star nut. Definitely refuse to be part of that crime that may have occurred. You're gonna have to rewatch. You're gonna have to watch the video so you see what tool I used. Yeah, I well, need your help. Do people know why I don't like the idea of cutting these things shorter than they need to? Uh, you can. You're gonna say it anyway. So go ahead and tell them why. Well, I mean, if they if they've been around for a while, they should know because of the ZTZ. We tried to use that one afterwards. You done screwed that son gun up. We just don't cut them short just in case that we yes. need it a little bit later on. But um, very good job on that. I love that tool. Um, so now we got that done. Now I think we're prepared to put the... You, you, you love which tool? Crown race. Uh, I love those. Uh, we have a few of them. Um, Wolf Stick Nation has been hooking us up, sending us that stuff for is a while. That, does that need any uh, pounding or is it good? It doesn't need any pounding. Okay. Yeah, um, I love the uh, Starnut Setter tools. Mm -hmm. Those things are great. Right, we, got, we got some great tools. All right, guys. Are you ready for the bike? You see the grip here? It's orange. I wonder if you shouldn't just... There we go. This is the Mongoose Ledge. This is an official... X2 or X1. This is an X1, but X1. this is an official uh, Wolf Tick Videos Diva Edition bike. Oh, yeah, it's for the yeah. Diva Edition. We got the Diva the Edition Diva, sticker the up Diva there. Series. We'll have to show you guys that. Wolfman was wanting to get this fork and install it on a bike that you guys could see, and obviously a bike that we could ride um, pretty soon to be able to do the initial impressions on are the uh, real-time review where we're going to be rating this fork and everything else. And here in a little bit, we're going to be doing everybody's favorite. Wolfman Five Dino. or six. Oh, wow. Wow. Wolfman Dino. The Wolfman Dino is coming up. but uh, <laughs> I was like, I didn't know we had mail. Yeah, so he was talking about three or four different bikes that we had to actually have a tapered head tube. And uh, he was like, hey, let's just put it on that ledge. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm all about that. I was against the idea in the beginning because I wanted to wait. I don't remember that conversation. <laughs> So anyway, what I'm getting at is the ledge. Um, this bike yeah. has a lot of good memories behind it. You this, know what I mean? There's a lot of good stuff about this bike. There is. Full suspension. We got the DNM uh, ALY 36RC rear shock on it. And I'm a fan of this bike, man. It rides really good. We got the Kenda Amrax on it. Do we have any flat out in the tubes on this one? No, but it probably needs probably some flat out. Probably put a spur to that in there. Because that, yeah. well, I tell you what, uh, MTB or... E bike, this is not E bike builder e -bike has builder. made us a fan of that stuff. Yeah, let me get a zoom in on this one. All right, might have to use a spacer or two left on this thing. Let's put the front wheel on it and then we'll go ahead and do a Wolfman Dino. Okay, rebound the fastest. Now remember, this thing's got 24 clicks of rebound. We're going to also mess with the lockout. We got full open and this is the fastest rebound. Oh, we'll see. Go ahead. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, smooth, first of all. Like it's it's a thirty five man. That's gonna be the right amount of pressure for you. You think so? Yeah. Okay. It's smooth. Okay. okay. Now one. Whoa, that was about three or four. Here's six. All okay. right, six. Yeah, a little bit. It's a, a, a mm -hmm. just 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 a little though. Okay. Okay, a little bit more okay. towards the slower what, side. What do you get now? Um, and about another five or six more. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, see, the, the, you can really fine-tune this one. Fine-tune it? Yeah, because those are, I mean, I can feel them, but they're small. Okay, here's another one. Okay. It's another six uh, or so. Yeah, you, dude, can, you can see a big smooth. difference. Dude, like, dude, holy crap, the way that feels. Okay, here's that's another. so smooth. Another five or six. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say right now, this is the smoothest fork I've ever felt. Wow. All right, go ahead. It's the softest. Oh, Dude. Oh. That's beautiful. Wow. It's well, gorgeous. I, you're gonna you're gonna love this damn fork. The A on Sun Tour, man. Oh my this god. This may be one of my favorite Sun Tours. You know, we have some Sun Tours that I really like, especially when it's on uh, Project Cheech, the Marin. But this right here, boost 35, 140 millimeters of travel or more, you know, with the exposed stanchion. We're gonna put this thing to the test, but it 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 looks apart, and it's 5.04 pounds. Rock Shocks has about 10 millimeters, and then it locks. Oh, this um, this don't I don't feel lock I don't feel lock anywhere. Here. Well, don't don't hurt it. Don't hurt yeah, it. I don't want to hurt it, it for you. Well, why don't you try the lockout and see how it does with you? Lockout? Uh huh. We could put put a little <laughs> to it though. Yeah, it's see it's a lot better for you. I mean that's 
That's a lot better for you. Maybe maybe it's dependent upon how much pressure is in it. I mean, it's locking out for me. So maybe if we put pressure for my size, it would lock out more. You well, it says 105 plus, and the max pressure is 120, but it's weighing more than 95 So let's kg. go to 115. All right, we're going to go to 115. I don't want to go to 120. I was saying, and I think we're in agreement. Um, I think it's important that, you know, I think these forks, as advanced as they're getting, um, it does, of course, rely on a rider's weight in order for the lockout to work properly. And we can't have a bad Wolfman Dino. Well, I mean... It, I mean we can have one, I'm, but... I'm going to rate it. If it does the same thing, if it gives more than just a smidge, when it comes to the ratings, I'm going to throw my two cents worth on the on that part of it. Full fast, okay, locked, locked out. Go ahead. Yep. Big difference. But yeah. it's, it still gives more than I'd like it to. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Big difference so. on the yeah, lockout. It is. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, Wolf Tick Nation, we appreciate you guys real. watching Wolf Tick videos as always. Um, super light I like forks. I can't wait. Those are my favorites. I cannot wait till we actually do the real time review with this. Big Brother Kevin H., thank you so much for sending us this fork. Remember, it's going to be going on Project Chung, our Patreon bill, but we wanted to show the nation. Everybody said, hey, I wouldn't mind seeing a really expensive fork be tested from the. the yeah, I think, the we're, tick, gonna, I think so. we're gonna go back. And, and do uh, Gummy's fork as well. Yeah, we might have to do a little rating on this mm -hmm. thing and see where it rates, guys. Make sure you have we won't put it up against on. the real budget ones. We're just going to do a score based on just how it scores yeah. and then, you know. All right, guys. But uh, Wolf Stick Nation, we are out of here. We will see you on the next episode. Yeah.